Now, this is all very new to me and to a lot of people, so we'll start, Larry, with you. Just in a couple of words, what's blockchain? It's a shared database that a lot of people different ha that have different copies of, um, but they, are, they match. So that's essentially, it's possible for everyone to agree on uh, what the content is of this database, but no one person has control, so it's decentralized. All right, how does it relate to cryptocurrency, Eric? Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that everyone can use, everyone can see it's open and transparent, and uh, can create a very fair and open way to transact with each other. Is this designed, Marcus, to replace money as we know it? It could, yeah. Uh, I hope the, the, the cryptocurrency enthusiasts hope so, at, at least. I think some central banks around the world are, are playing with blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies of their own. Uh, transaction costs, for example, are, are very, very low uh, when you transact with cryptocurrency. So it makes sense in a way that maybe you have a hybrid system where you have offline money and the online money is in a, in a blockchain type form. Tracy, what was the need for it? Well, you know, there's a lot of needs for it. There's opportunities where we have a lot of disenfranchised people who don't have access to banks, for instance, and that's where cryptocurrency may come in play. It actually already is around the world. And there's a lot of also Main Street needs where we don't trust reviews and we don't trust uh, Wikipedia some days because we've heard of hacking and scraping and all sorts of things that happen there. So we need to have something that's more immutable, which is what we call the blockchain, something that's more verifiable and able to be hacked only through extreme measures of which we'd find out about really quickly. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.